Thank you for joining us for another live inspection with Auction Reporters. We're here at 49 Rosling Crescent in Blackburn and uh, we're going to go through an amazing family home. Hey Luke, how are you? Good Poovin, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Welcome to 49 Rosling Crescent. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, I think the street presence on this one, if you drive around the street, I think this is uh, probably one of the best in the street. The owners um, completely remodeled the garden after they bought it um, a few years ago. And I think what they've done with the hedging and the roses and everything really complements um, the charming facade we've got. So yeah, here's some information. Let's right. pop on side. Um, I'll give you a guided tour of the property. Um, so it's either a four or a five bedroom. Um, the fifth bedroom for some families may end up being a study. So we go this way, yeah? Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go to the main living quarters first. So the fifth bedroom for some may end up being a study or a second living room if they don't need it, but it has that fifth bedroom option. Yeah. Um, so this is the heart of the home. Um, the owners, when they purchased, they actually remodeled the floor plan a little bit and opened it up to give it that more modern um, open plan feel. Wherever you are in the home, you don't actually see any of your neighbours' windows, so it's really private, um, mm. particularly in this pocket. Um, and obviously, Roslyn Crescent isn't a highly trafficked pocket. It's its own little cul-de-sac, um, so it's really quiet in terms of drive past or drive through traffic as well. Um, so we'll come to the kitchen. Yep. So really good size, plenty of storage throughout. Um, it has your... I, I love the view here. Yeah, the view out. Um, these windows is really lovely. Um, you know, and so you've got stone benches in the kitchen, 900 mil um, oven, as well yep. as five burner cooker. Um, so plenty of space. Um, you've got a dishwasher as well. Dishwasher as well. And yep. then there's plenty of storage cupboards through um, as well. So. Mm. Oh um, yeah, this whole thing is storage. It's pretty yep. much, yep. So plenty of space for your appliances, yep. um, plates, pots and pans, all those sort of things. There's a walk-in pantry at the end of the hallway as well. Oh yeah, nice. Let's have a look. So again, plenty of space. Um, and then just next to that, you've got your laundry as well, which is you know, an ample size for um, a property of this nature. Yep. It has outdoor access too. Yep. Yep. I like how everything flows together. Yeah, they, they put a bit of time and effort into opening the property up just yep. to um, give it, I guess, that modern feel because everyone likes those modern homes where everyone, you know, mum or dad can be in the kitchen cooking, the kids can be there watching TV or doing their homework and it's all interconnected. So it works really well. Um, you've got your dining space here or your meals, whichever yep. way you'd like to do and that obviously connects really well. You can easily have a 10 seater or 8 seater here, no problem. No problem. Um, you know, this is probably one of the hero shops I think of the property, this room and looking out through um, your bay window at the front um, with the garden work and everything they've done, that's just magic. You know, that, that sort of sets the scene and it, um, every room, particularly downstairs, has got really good garden views. You've got windows in almost every direction. Exactly, so you're yeah. always gonna have lots of natural light, yep. um, which is really important. Everyone's trying to keep their energy costs down. Um, this they, is really yeah. nice. Unique aspect yeah. of this property, obviously you've got um, you've got your garage through here. So single garage yep. um, with some storage space, space as well. You've also got the carport out the front, so you've got two covered car spots. Yep. But this property is really unique because it's got a couple of outdoor entertaining spaces. So this one's undercover. You've got the skylight or the lead light um, above us there. Yep. That's going to, um, makes it sort of all purpose throughout the colder colder months as well. You could quite easily set up a chimney or something like that for a bit of warmth in winter yep. and still easily use this space. You've then got another little um, sitting space um, to the other side there. And the owners have put in some flywire mesh actually across all of the um, openings here. So oh, okay. So you can actually have the doors and get really um, nice natural ventilation throughout. Do they have cats? Is that uh, right? No, the previous <laughs> owner did. Ah, but okay. um, you get really good ventilation um, yep. in some of the warmer months where you can, you know, not need to use um, any of your cooling or heating facilities. You know, it's really lovely in the mornings here. You sort of come here and the birds are chirping and you can have all your windows and doors open because they're um, secured. The property is on just over 600 square meters of land. Yep. Um, you know, the backyard again, really nice outlook. You've got the veggie garden, 
Um, if the veggie gardens are not your thing, the owners are actually happy to take all the veggies out because okay. <laughs> um, they love it. But if it's your thing, it's there for you to enjoy. Yep. Um, really nice natural landscaping too. They haven't tried to um, you know, change the property's feel. It sort of marries the location really well. Exactly. Yeah. Um, That's one thing I noticed when I was driving in. There's just plenty of trees and very mature trees. Yeah, and you're only probably a three, four hundred meter walk from Blackburn Lake too. So really popular local amenity. Um, that's actually the last remaining natural bushland area in Metro Melbourne. So mm. um, really unique aspect. And it's probably one of the main reasons why people do buy um, in Blackburn. Put a little pond yep. um, at the back here. You can put some fish in there if you like for the yep. kids to feed. Um, and then you've got this um, secondary entertaining space, probably more for the warmer months because yep. it's uncovered. But again, some bench seating. Um, come summertime, you can set up um, for some really good entertaining. The outdoor living on this property is probably one of its strong suits, um, just because it's so versatile. So I'd love to step through and show you um, the bedrooms. All of them with a really good size, um, which is important because when you're looking at a home of this size, you're generally going to be meeting um, young families or growing families. So they're looking at a home that's going to suit them probably for the next, for the next decade or two. Really nice entryway, um, which sort of you know, goes off to either your bedrooms, your living or upstairs. So nice little entrance for you. Two front bedrooms. Yep. Um, again, really abundant natural light. Plenty of windows, lovely two, garden. Two big pieces. windows, yeah. Yeah. Very nice view. Again, you've got that natural landscape. You've got another bedroom um, down here. Again, the top and bottom storage. Yep. Nice large bedroom, big window, so plenty of natural light. And then this takes us through to the recently renovated bathroom. So this was a shower over bath with which most people um, aren't in favour of, but they've done a really good job of um, converting it into a nice large walk-in shower. Yep. Uh, you've got the lovely stained glass or the lead light window, uh, brand new vanity. Yeah, the stained glass really gives it um, a unique touch. Right? Yeah. Now this is your fifth bedroom option. So mm. at the moment, the current owners have it set up as a study. If you don't need it for a fifth bedroom and you don't need the study, this could become a secondary living space, kids playroom. So it's quite versatile yep. and very easily could be used as a bedroom if needed. Um, so if you do need the fifth bedroom or um, it could maybe be a guest bedroom that you only need every now and then. Yep. So plenty of storage underneath here. Fully carpeted. Um, ah, okay. Nice little storage in yep. there. Plenty of space. Yep. And then behind you as well here, you've got some more storage too. Let's exactly. go after you. So when you get up to the top of the stairs, yep. um, if we turn right, you've got a um, nice big bedroom here. You've got a great view outside, so that leafy aspect, providing privacy. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, there's another neighbour building. Like um, you said earlier, with all the windows, there's still privacy. There's a lot of established landscape and trees. Yeah. Um, it does provide that privacy um, from your neighbours. Really good sized walk-in walk robe. robe. Yep. You've got um, heating, cooling um, throughout the property. Um, there's ducted vacuum as well. So the blinds are all recently um, installed, so they're reasonably new. This ensuite um, was recently renovated as well. Yep. Um, so reasonably fresh. Um, heated toilet seat for, for those cold winter mornings too. And there's another door, there's a second door here. Yeah, so this is a semi ensuite, so it services the main bedroom. Yep. Um, so the main bedroom's here down the hall, if you pop on through. So great, um, great robe space in the master bedroom. You've got two sets of these, you know, yep. heaps of storage space. Um, and there's actually, I'll take you through to the next little bit, but there's actually a space you could quite easily convert into more robe space as well. It's a, it's a very good size here, very wide and um, plenty of natural light. Okay. I, really, I really like this room. It's a lovely, 
lovely little haven. Um, and this is the space that I was saying you might be able to convert if you needed more robe space. Yep. Um, this room you could easily convert into a walk-in robe. So really versatile. Um, the previous owners before this owner had it set up as a study. Yep. Um, or a reading room, but I think its best purpose is probably um, fitting it with some shelves and hanging space, you know, plastering the wall up and yep. um, you'll have a walk-in robe off the master bedroom too. So that's the internals in the um, in the backyard of the property. There is, um, yeah, we'll probably finish now out the front because I do think the street presence is often something um, that can go missed. And I do think the probably the strongest attribute, apart from all the updates and everything that the vendors have done, is this um, street street appeal, the, the lovely work they've done with the garden. Um, you know, they spent hours upon hours. I was fortunate enough to sell um, the property across the road, actually. Um, and just that one? Yeah, yeah, just that one there. And while we were selling that, I just remember seeing, um, you know, the vendors are always in the garden, always um, maintaining it and adding to it. And it really gives it the, the charm. It's a unique property in a really unique pocket of Melbourne. So I think we're going to have an, an excited purchaser. Tell me a bit about the vendors. Uh, so the vendors, they're a young-ish family. Kids go to schooling a little bit closer into Melbourne. So they're hoping to um, move just to save on their morning commute. They really don't want to leave. Um, when I ask them, you know, what do they love about the property? I said, it's the street, it's the neighbours, you know. They know everybody that lives in this little pocket of the street and their children get music lessons from one of the neighbours on the oh, other side okay. of the street. So it's a real community and they love it. Yep. Um, you know, for families moving into the area, they're really going to like that you're only about a five minute walk from Blackburn Lake Primary. That school's actually in the top few schools in the state in terms of primary school results. So really sought after school, you're well within the zone and the best thing is your walking distance. Um, you've also got Blackburn Lake, so exercise, uh, picnics, outings, all those sort of things, you know, really, really easily achieve. Also a short walk to Blackburn Station, which is 15 or 20 minutes away. Mm, so okay. um, you get the best of both worlds in this pocket. That's what I like to say to people, that you get that um, you know, sort of out of the hustle and bustle feel, but yep. you're also on the doorstep of it too. So um, the only thing that's left is to find the next family that's going to love it just as much. All right, excellent. Um, well, thank you so much, uh, Luke, for having us. No worries. Um, Thanks, Proven. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, we look forward to the next one. No worries. Excellent. Cheers. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. Another uh, live inspection. I hope you enjoyed this, um, this episode, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thank you, and have a good one. See you.